Hi friends, in this video I will let you know how to draw free body diagrams. So how to draw a free body diagram? First of all, make the body free from all the contact, string, spring, etc. And show only those forces which are acting, again the most important word, on the body. Okay. In free body diagram of object 1, we will show only those forces which are being acted on the body, not by the body, okay, acted on the body. So, there are forces, one is M1G, M1G on one by ground. This is normal reaction. Let's say we call it N1 on 1 by incline or surface and uh, oh, this is nothing but uh, this is the diagram of block 2 okay so it should be N2G and N2 on 2 on 2 and there is one more tension which is on 2 by string by rope let's say R this is the free body diagram of block 2 okay N2 T and M2G what about free body diagram of block 1 again gravity will act vertically down M1G on 1 by earth or ground uh, it should be earth okay gravity is by earth normal let's say n1 on 1 by incline or by surface and this tension this tension on 1 by rope let us also draw the fbd of this pulley so pulley is light so we'll have tensions on both sides to be same and there must be some additional force by the support we call it fs okay what about this let's say this angle is theta with the horizontal in the fbd of the block or the sphere we'll just show these contact by dotted lines so that we can easily draw this let's say this is wall 1 this is wall 2 and 1 is the normal reaction on sphere by wall 1 and this is the normal reaction on sphere on sphere by wall 2 and this is weight again mg on sphere by earth these are the three forces acting on the sphere this is the free body diagram of the sphere okay in the next one is these are two pulleys light pulleys and a string and two blocks we have to draw their diagrams let's start with the fbd of one this is one so it is t and it is m1g these are the only two forces, they are no contact, so no normal reaction. What about pulley B? Pulley B is experiencing two downward tensions from the rope and an upward force that will be, let's say T dash, must be equal to 2T. Okay, there is a simple concept that the net force on a massless object must be zero, otherwise it will accelerate to infinite. Okay net force on the light pulleys must be zero what about pulley a the pulley a also experiences two upward strings which will apply same tension because they are same strings and so the downward string will apply 2t again on the block 2 upward direction 2t and this will be m2g Again, along the string away from the object on block 1, this is 
on one by string this is on one by earth this is on two by string new one dash this is on two by earth so in fpd of two will show only those forces which are acting on two on two okay so this is another diagram we have to draw their fpd let's start with the first one in this contact is there so there will be n and because of its weight it will have another force m1 g so these are the only two forces friction is not there because we haven't studied it yet so on this object 2 there is again normal reaction this is on 1 by 2 and this is on 2 by 1 these are action reaction pairs must be equal and opposite as well this is n dash on 2 by uh, ground this is weight on 1 by earth and the weight of obviously block 2 m to g on 2 by earth this is the fbd of 2 this is the fbd of 1 the last fbd is this for 1 i can draw it here only this will be t and this will be t here downward force m1g here downward force m2g okay so on the pulley it will be t it will be t so just isolate them this is i am creating some blocks which will have fpd of the pulley as well as this block one and block two so the upward force will be 2t on spring we have a 2t in downward direction and 2t in upward direction as well on support it will be 2t in downward direction 2t is nothing but kx which is the spring force okay enjoy